guys, welcome to the channel. Today we have a CSP exclusive. We're going to be installing the Cook's two inch header that is exclusively designed to be able to fit the E-Ray. Why exclusively designed that way? Well, because the factory manifold for the E-Ray actually has exhaust gas temperature sensors in it, which is only found on the E-Ray and nothing else. So we've commissioned Cooks to take their brand new two inch header, which has not been installed on anything yet, and install provisions for us to be able to test this out. This is a very exciting thing because up until recently, it's been just the Cook's one and seven eighth inch header that could connect to the factory cap. However, now this two inch header does not because it's got a bigger collector and I think there's gonna be power to be gained. We're gonna be testing this out as well as making sure that what we've designed will work for you guys. Might be a CSP exclusive, might be incorporated into all the future Cook's builds. We're working with them to figure this out. But right now, here is a sneak peek at what we have to offer. Take your top off. No, 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 <laughs> So one of the things that uh, kind of sucks about the convertible is that you can't see anything. Well, Paragon actually has a real cool solution for this. Better than the GM solution, which is just like a square so you can see the engine bay cover. Paragon actually has this entire thing as a clear cover. And I think we just need to put it on because I want to see the disaster that's under here. Maybe we'll even put the engine bay cover on too. Well, he's actually taking off the engine bay cover. We're going to look at our custom set of the brand new Cook's headers with the, uh, the two inch headers for the C8. Now these have been modified to my own specs to add another O2 gun. And then we have uh, the adapter that I had to get from ne the Torn Netherlands, I think. Uh, to uh, actually convert to an EGT sensor. So these are the first two inch headers that I'm seeing. And what we have here is the normal O2 bung that Cooks provides. This is like a press-in system. And then I have added a uh, weld-in bung. This is actually pretty cool for even the C8 guys who are doing port injection. Because at a certain point, the factory computer like gets limited and cannot, the wideband control cannot really work anymore. This actually is a way that you could put in O2 sensors that you can use the uh, the widebands with port control. Very cool, very nifty. I say, could you actually use this on a base car and use that for like a wideband as well? Isn't that what I just said? No, I mean like a wideband in the car. You could, yeah. I mean, you could probably, it's probably better just to get like a gauge that can read the native widebands because they are native widebands, but this, yes, you could do that, yeah. And it would be pre cap which is pretty nifty. Then, of course, the other side, let's make sure that we got it on both sides. Yes, we do. These are custom CSP Cooks headers for now. Cooks is actually eagerly waiting the results here in order to determine whether they are gonna offer this as a standard feature. Now, one of the uh, one of the interesting things about it is that they will only combine with their cats because the cats have a three inch collector or off-road pipes or, or competition pipes uh, for those of you that are just doing competition with it. The factory stuff does not have that same big collector so we, uh, um, we can't actually take those, the two inch version, and put it onto the factory cats. You need to do the, the complete set. So headers and connection pipes to the factory or aftermarket exhaust. You get it off yet? So as I was telling you guys earlier, the E-Ray does have a slightly different header. This is not the same as the factory uh, Stingray header because it actually has EGT sensor in it, right here. And so, that actually protrudes into, you know, yonder and, you know, the factory wideband goes here, which is cool. So what I did was I commissioned Cooks when they were making these brand new two inch version with a slightly bigger outlet here. This is, uh, this is two and, a, uh, two and three quarters versus two and a half. It's a little bit better collector and then it doesn't neck down. Um, I guess it's this side, it just necks down even further then and kind of yeah, it's it, it might be showing a little bit of a restriction there, but uh, 
I added O2 bungs. We have an adapter in order to convert the, uh, um, the O2 bung to the proper EGT sensor, which is not, uh, <laughs> it's not really a readily available adapter. I had to get it from the Netherlands. And you see that we made it so it looks to be in the same spot, which is great. So one of their considerations was making sure that the adapter raised the sensor up enough that the, the EGT sensor itself wouldn't be hitting the, um, wouldn't be hitting this fancy guy in here. But it does, it works. We're gonna put these on now, see if there's any check engine lights and you know, basically let her rip, get it on the dyno. Find out if there's any horsepower gain on both pump gas and E85. Now keep in mind, we're only measuring this in rear wheel horsepower only. So we're comparing the uh, uh, 440 baseline to whatever these do as the new baseline. Maybe 455? That would be pretty cool. This is going to be the combination of header with cats. Okay, so as you guys know, we're replacing this uh, piece that you can't see, the engine bay. This engine cover with this guy and then you can however this part is not drilled out this is uh, what I believe is a provision for the e-ray probably for the battery cooling system that I obviously was there it was you know part of like whatever was intended but was not cut out for us so we're gonna we're gonna have to cut it out drill some holes in order to get this piece on. I mean, you don't have a choice now. That's actually not bad. Maggie, you're all Okay, let's get this thing ready for first start. Before putting it all back together, we'll make sure that uh, no leaks and whatnot and everything's working the way it's supposed to. I'll probably have to do a valve relearn on the Corsa exhaust. Even switching from Corsa to MBRP, I had to do a valve relearn. So I'm not gonna be surprised if I have to do another one. But that's okay. So for those of you who were not paying attention in the video, this is the brand new Cook's two inch header. This is something that hasn't been available until, well, probably until this video. And uh, we have it modified slightly to fit the E-Ray uh, with the Cook's four and a half inch cap. Fire in the hole.
just a reminder, last time that we dynoed this, we dynoed 440 rear wheel horsepower on pump gas, and then 465 rear wheel horsepower, no, 464 rear wheel horsepower on E85. So we picked up 24 horsepower. It's actually E70, but we'll say E85 because that's what the gas station is. So I'm on factory timing right now. I think with these headers I can actually add more timing, so I'm gonna try that now and see if I can make you know some significant gains. Stuff that I did try when I had the factory manifolds and cats and could not do. So I think that what we're gonna see, I'm gonna get two to three degrees more timing in this than I did previously on pump gas. And we're gonna actually have a reasonable gain on it. And then E85, because we're running so high timing, I don't think that the gains are gonna be there. I think that that's, that's what we're gonna see, is we're gonna see much more gains on pump gas rather than E85. good it seems like baseline to baseline you know we're seeing at least 12 rear wheel horsepower with a factory tune that's actually like the factory map to it I don't know that I can get any more out of it because frankly I couldn't get any more when it was just the, uh, the factory like setup completely stock I couldn't get any more but I am gonna add two degrees of timing just to cover my bases and see if it goes anywhere if it doesn't, well, then that's it. If it does, kudos to me and you, because you will benefit from this too when you buy an E-Ray or a Stingray and bring it to me. Okay, I, I'm actually surprised. It looked like it took that timing, no problem. Uh, so I gotta add a little bit more, why not, right? I think that that's actually, uh, that's pretty good. We, uh, you know, we'll say the 459. Maybe I've crossed the threshold a little bit, but still didn't pick up knock. Pretty happy with what we're seeing here. That's, that's excellent. Try adding a little bit of timing to it. Guys, I kind of want to recap like what we just went through here. A lot of times you're looking at it and you're expecting a bigger gain with headers. Well, the factory car comes with headers. So what we're actually doing is removing bottlenecks and there's not a lot of a bottleneck with the factory header and cat that you actually can remove. So we're not really seeing the big gain as if we would if we had a camshaft or so. But I'm actually pretty happy because a 20 rear wheel horsepower gain is actually really impressive. 
And the funny thing is with E85, because we were able to get some extra timing in it that we weren't able to get before when I test it, we didn't have a lot of extra room with E85 to bump the timing up there. So it, it's interesting, the peak horsepower gain with flex fuel bone stock with headers was only like eight horsepower more, but with pump gas, it was 20. And and if we uh, if we had higher compression or camshaft or all you know sorts of other things, it would likely perform a lot better. But uh, I don't know. I was, I'm pretty happy with it because we had tests before with Cook's headers. And they did not like us for them, where we didn't get any gains. So I'm actually really really happy to get gains off of these brand new Cook's two inch headers. Coming up, we've got some crazy stuff going on. We've got. Uh, I've got a major change that's happening that kind of, it didn't fall into my lap, but it kind of fell into my lap, where our progression for the E-Ray series may not happen the way that we were expecting it to. So I've made a major pivot, and it uh, it's gonna be pretty wild, because instead of doing the NA progression right away, we're gonna pivot just slightly, and I think you're gonna really, really enjoy where we go with it. Then we're gonna, Kind of start all over in a way, but not exactly in a way. <coughs> Bless you. So also coming up on the channel, we've got another Blackwing. This isn't one that we worked on before. This is one you gotta see to believe because uh, it came here as a freaking disaster. I, I, oh Jesus. This is not me. Yeah, but what the fuck? And now we're fixing it. So, and doing a great job, honestly. Like, I already know the results. You guys will just have to stay tuned to see them. So make sure you subscribe because loads of fun stuff coming up with our Blackwing and C8 E-Ray content. And uh, gosh, I think we have a lot more content coming too. We should we should do more stuff. If you guys have anything that you want us to do, write it in the comments below and we'll take it under advisement. See you on the next one.